Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. My name is EJ. I got my man. Mate. <clears throat> is the DB of the show. And we are Black in Sports. Give it a voice of the culture that won't shut up and dribble. Hey, man, and today, man, we're bringing you back inside the locker room where we talk about topics in and around the game. Uh, so, you know, for this one, man, we, we just had to look at the numbers and, uh, you know, just do a little research and just kind of kind of really get your thoughts on things, man. So, M.H., you ready to do this? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, man. So, um, a recent post came out, right, um, from the boardroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's one of those things you look at it and then you, like, you know, you kind of go back and then you look at the game like, man, hold on. <laughs> did, did I read that right? And, <laughs> right. And I think that's kind of really where our research kind of came from. And just just kind of want to get your thoughts and just kind of talk about it when we're looking at the state of the WNBA. Um, without getting too much into it and, and MH, I kind of let you kind of, you know, set the tone. But, uh, you know, we had a break. We had a little Olympic break, which is kind of a traditional well, kind of what happens every four years with the WNBA. But now we're back, right? So the WNBA is hot and heavy, man. We're, we're doing that like a championship run where, you know, some of these players had a break. Um, and, and, you know, the, and now it's like back to business. And with that, man, what did you think about this post? Just, just set the stage for our, for our guests. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if anybody has seen their phone, I think it's, it's starting to pick up uh, a little wind. But the boardroom, and we'll definitely quote the boardroom on this, uh, had a had a merchandise list of top five merchandise sales. Uh, I guess owners are people that have the top merchandise sales in the WNBA. Uh, some names on there that uh, doesn't surprise us, obviously. Uh, number one, I mean, Caitlin Clark. We've we've had many discussions about Caitlin Clark. Uh, number two, uh, Angel Reese. Um, also, many discussions about Angel Reese. Again, their their competitive rivalry has has been existing for now, you know, a few years. Number three, uh, Sabrina Nescu uh, had a three point contest against Steph. Uh, All-American in college, um, really connected to the Bryant family. Uh, so we, we understand. I'm going to skip by my favorite number, number four, right quick. But another person on the list is Asia Wilson, uh, arguably one of the greatest basketball players ever. Um, has a statue at University of South Carolina, multi-medal <laughs> winner, uh, multi-WNBA uh, champion. Yeah, two-time. Uh, two-time two -time MVP. Two-time two -time champion. MVP. Gold medal winner. Here. Uh, <laughs> she got a that's, shoe dropping. Shoe. Let's just keep it going. She was actually number five. So there was another Aces, uh, Las Vegas Aces player that was number four on the list. EJ, do 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 you did you see who was number four on the list? I did, and like it was so funny that I skipped over because like when you looked at the fact that Asia was at the bottom of this list, it five. kind of. It, it kind of um, threw off where, you know, like you look at the top and then you like, you know, you kind of skirt okay. the middle. It's like, okay, the middle, you know, could it be because they didn't do the numbers. I think that's one of the things that throws us off, right? But yeah, to answer your question, number four from the Aces is Kate Martin. You know what Kate I'm saying? So we're going to clap it up for her, right? It looks like, yeah. you know, we got two Aces players, you know, in the top five of Jersey sales. So that's, that's where we're going to start it off. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But then you just kind of start peeling back. You're like, hold on. Kate hey, Martin, that, that girl, <laughs> that, that girl, good. You know what I mean? Um, I think that was definitely surprising because, like, I even told you, I was like, "Hold on, you sure <laughs> it was Kate?" You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's just surprising when you talk about because even how you did it, you did a great, you know, way of opening that up was why we know that those people are in the in the positions that they are, right? And then to see Kate on there was just like surprising in a good way, right? Um. But it does kind of put that question on, like, okay, maybe – I don't know how you want to start. I, I'll say, like, let's start with maybe who's missing and then go back and tell the story, right? Because it's like – me and you both said the same person, right? Like, for me, I'm thinking, like, well, where's Stewie? Yeah. No, arguably another, like, go. I think she probably won the national – we probably should fact check, but at least – Multi uh, winner oh. of the national championship in college at UConn and number one overall pick. It's been an MVP. Yeah, it's been has won championships in the WNBA. 
Right. And then, like, if you look, like, you know, ESPN talking about, because, okay, let's set, also set that um, fan, uh, Fanatics set the numbers, right? So they were going off the, the data and the sales that Fanatics had, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it was for this period of the start of the season to uh, July. To July. Right? So that's going to kind of remember that basis when we talk about, like, some of the other things that we talked about. But still, you know, from the beginning of this season, going into the hype of this season, when you right. talk about, like, a Stewie, who is on the super teams, as we kind of talked about in past episodes, sure. of, of a major market, right? New York. I, and she's in New York, so that is a major market. So if you already have the Sabrina Nesca jersey, you would think that a, a Stewie jersey would be kind of like, you know. Combo. Yeah. Combo. Because there's, there's weeks where they got two games a week. So, you know, first game I'm going to wear this one, next game I'm going to wear that one, right? Keep right. the rotation. So – just kind of looking at that is like, where was she at? And like, you know, you can make the arguments for other people. Like, uh, <laughs> I definitely was thinking about, uh, what's my girl that, um, um, with the Dallas wings, she's the, the, the car for the, um, for the wings. Uh, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> yes. She bust everybody's ass in the all-star game. And she bust your ass when she, we were sitting courtside. Yeah. That's I mean, pause, but, <laughs> For many different reasons, but yes, she, she but yes, um, why her game, and maybe like you know, said that was the um, the all star break, so like we said, it was it was this time frame, but you're just talking about like top people in the WNBA that are yeah. have made a name or are making the names for themselves. So, yeah. who who would you say, if anybody, just to throw it out there, you know, what I mean, not but based on we, we both agree to Stewie, but who else would you think? I mean, we we can, you know, we when we come to Jersey Sales, we can have conversation about marketability and all those type of things. Uh, but I would even look at some of her ACEs teammates. I mean, uh, you know, Kelsey Plum seems fairly marketable. She's been an all-star and just recently won a gold medal, obviously uh, number one overall pick um, had kind of, kind of a celebrity type relationship. Like you, you would argue that that could be, you know, she broke some records, right? She, like she had the like, you know, I mean, her record just yeah. got broke, you know, by getting some. Broke. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like, so you can market that. I mean, I love Chelsea Gray, literally my oh, favorite yeah. player. 100. Uh, Shout is, out to is, Point God. Shout out to Point God. <laughs> is a fun player to watch and has won national or won WNBA championships with multiple franchises. So, just on the team alone, and I don't want to leave out Jackie Young. Uh, Age of zero. We're all pick. Yeah. So like. Uh, I mean, it's been lighting it up. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Like her, her game has just been lighting it up. Like, you know, she's really coming into her own past couple of years. Well, just, just, just those, just, just off, off top. Uh, I would say there, uh, I mean, there's some, uh, I mean, I, I mean, Diana Taurasi is still playing. I know she's like, you know, well, everybody got her jerseys already. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're not buying it anymore. You're right. Fair. Fair. Maybe they're not oh. buying it anymore. But like, I mean, I mean, Skylar Diggins, I think she just mo recently moved teams. Uh, she's been successful and always been popular in the game for a long time. So, like, there's – we can go down a list. Uh, and, you know, that's another reason why I'll buy Skylar's jersey, but, you know, that's a whole okay. other different, <laughs> different show. There's some, there's <laughs> there. But, yeah, like, you know, <laughs> there's, uh, there's, there's multiple people that I think that – and this is no uh, – shout out to, to Kate and her fan base and uh, – you know, her success and, and maybe since in, in some of his like her story too, a little bit, you know, big time her story, right? Yeah, like, I mean, I mean, he's a, you know, four time, you know, senior or she was a second round draft pick, uh, played with uh, Kaylin Clark at Iowa. That that team um, obviously had a, a large fan base and had a lot of success in college. Um, and she was a second round pick, was was at the draft supporting her teammate and end up getting drafted. So that's kind of cool. Great story. story. Yeah, and you know, and she's she plays defense and is a good teammate and uh, can shoot. So, uh, so do you think her. that it's kind of in that pairing, right? Because this is beginning of the season, like you know, not knowing whether she was going to play, where she, she's going to make the team. Because you know how it goes with the WNBA draft. You got people in the first round that get a cut from teams. It's just like wow, you know, what I mean, just because. Um, you know, you get that 144 number, right? There's only a limited amount of spaces. Right. It's, and some of these people that are playing uh, don't like to leave the game. So there's, there's not plenty of space or roster spots. But just kind of like, you know, the Angel Reese and the Caitlin Clark, their dynamic, you know, battle, Batman, Robin, or villain, evil, whatever you want to say, has helped rise both of their narrative, right? Like it's the, the, um, 
the Magic Bird, yeah. you know, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And maybe Caitlin's and, 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 um, and Kate Martin's story from just that rise of what they did together as a team. And then, like, if you know, if you are an Iowa fan, you're a fan of both of them because when when they played here, there were just as many jerseys or people from Iowa cheering both of them on. Yeah. Well, you could kind of feel that in the atmosphere. So right. that's part of it too, right? And like that that fan base has just, you know, just grown so big during their whole kind of college career. No, I I, I completely agree. Um, and uh it definitely was probably the top story in all of sports um for a good period of time. Uh it, it is interesting as you know, usually as a sports society in this country, we value championships so as great as um that team was and as good as the story it was um and they didn't win any championships angel reese is a national champion you know what right I mean? right um, and so and, and everybody can, everybody on this list is a national champion right uh, not caitlin no other than the other two, than, yeah, two other than those, everybody, everybody else yeah. yes right yeah well i don't know if sabrina ever won a national championship either actually so maybe maybe, Wait, maybe Sabrina, did she play for UConn? Mm -mm. Uh, Oregon. I mean, let me fact check, check that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. And fact check that for a while. Because it's like I know she's a West Coast because she's, she's a, part of that uh, Kobe tree. <laughs> the Kobe tree, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, let me. Fact check. I'm, I'm quite sure it's Oregon, but let me let me just double check. Yeah, absolutely. So just kind of like looking, basing through those kind of narratives and trying to figure out like what what helps that popularity and helps them keeps them in the news right because like even though angel and Oregon. caitlin it is Oregon, caitlin mm -hmm. and um and angel have that kind of that dynamic brought them um drafted together they battled you know whatever in college but angel reese is really starting to make her own because while caitlin's breaking WNBA records so was angel right Mm -hmm. um, you know, being that w, I mean, uh, the double double queen, like I think she's ahead of Angel. I mean, excuse me, uh, Asia yeah, and rebounds, rebounds. right and rebounds this year. So, um, but she started to break away. Like she just got her little Reese's deal. Um, you know, she's they doing like Barbie night <laughs> for the sky. So she's got to deal with Mattel. Um, so she's stuck. She's starting to make sure, like not only on the court but off the court, she's continuing to like you know stretch her brand. So it's just going to be interesting to see like how all of these um, you know other um, players are going to stretch their brand. Like it's just going to be just interesting to see how Kate's brand evolves. You know, especially being you know on the Aces teams with a bunch of superstars, and hopefully we bring home that you know that third that third championship. Um, it's just going to be great to see how she develops. Um, as well in this in this kind of list, I do think winning matters, though, and, oh. and, and, and good thing for Kay Martin. Whether her jerseys are selling more are at to to the up to July, where we're selling more than Asia Wilson. Um, you know, the Aces somehow get into that dynasty discussion with the Houston Comets and uh, Minnesota uh, Lynx and all their championships they won. If the Aces win three in a row and she's on that team. And she's benefiting from the greatness of Angel Wilson, uh, Asia Wilson. Then yeah, I mean she she can stay up there. But if if they're not winning, like you know, we 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 like winners as as a country. We 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 truly like winners. So hundred percent, you gotta you gotta win to to stay up there. And it'd be interesting to see, right? Like, so this was done till July. Let's see, like you know, after the finish of the season, right? After like, the Olympics. And especially after the Olympics and then like that playoff push. Right. Because I think that also helps. Right. Because like you said, you like winners. So now we're in the playoffs. I need to go ahead and cop that other jersey. Right. Or, right. you know, if there's something else that kind of comes out to see how because there's going to be some people on this list that are not going to be um, in that playoff push or at least to, to that championship push. So that's definitely going to be interesting. So now just kind of your thoughts from comparison to the number one on this list to the number five on this list. Um, the MVP race, you know, like stats and polls and things, you know, have Asia, you know, pretty much leading that race. Um, is there anything that Caitlin can do? Cause she's come back with fire after this break, um, to, to, to like take over or at least make it a little closer than it was. No, <laughs> the no. answer is no, a definitive no. Them, no, and I and I actually I really enjoy watching Caitlin Clark play. I really do. But uh -huh. 
as a basketball fan, watching Asia Wilson play basketball is complete dominance. Like, it, <laughs> unlike really anything that I've seen in, in a while, uh, where uh-huh. there's nothing from a real just – there's nothing she can't do. She's the best defender on the court. She can make passes if she needs to. Every time they need a bucket, she scores. If she shoots her little mid-range shot, it's crazy if she even misses it. She'll – she now she's shooting threes like there's really nothing that you can so no and and that's <laughs> it. Uh, no, with all being speaking, man, man. that's not even a question now rookie of the year yeah she had that it's a good story once you know her team continues to grow and everybody kind of you know she figures out angles and things like that in, in the in the in the w then maybe we have that discussion next year or the year after but as of right now like they ain't, they ain't no touching Asia wilson <laughs> there it is it's a, it's a wrap <laughs> it's a wrap. She's go. Well, hey, it's I guess one of the other great signs is like even when they did this, um, they said the numbers, sales numbers were up five hundred percent in the yeah. W. So loving to see what these women are doing in the game for the game. Um, you know, we're lucky enough to have the aces here, so we can be a part of that and like actually attend and, and see the story develop. Um, you know, it's going to be exciting to see these other teams kind of roll into the market with the expansion of the WNBA. So that's a great sign of it. But definitely, you know, after you check this um, this uh, show out, please let us know if you thought someone should have been or just kind of surprised at the, the top list and uh, let us know. And, and you got anything else for the people? No, I, I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in these last couple months uh, for the Aces. Hope they can. I mean, four Olympians is great. It's a great on paper, but I know I, I'm sure uh, those women get tired. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I hope they can, you know, uh, find an extra gear and, and and come out with a three P. Because then we have to have this discussion. We have to have another locker room and, and even a live discussion on where is that dynasty rank amongst the like I said, Houston Commons, Minnesota Lynx. Um, because it would be a dynasty at, at three, I would think. I, w- I would think you could start saying dynasty at that point. Uh, yeah, and three back to back. Like you can yeah. definitely start having that kind of I conversation. Can start having that conversation. So hopefully they get some, uh, can figure it out down the stretch. That'd be great, man. And I'll see you at the parade, man. <laughs> we'll be there. And it For keeps sure. getting larger and larger. So oh, we can only, uh, we can only imagine use. what this year's going to be, right? Yeah. So I hope the ladies bring it home. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, hey, like always, man, thank you uh, for listening to the show or watching the show. Uh, we drop a new episode every Thursday. Um, so please give us our feedback, man. Let us know who you think was missing or what do you think of the, the ranking. And uh, maybe we can kind of push to make sure they do the final season poll. Maybe we can push Boardroom and Fanatics to kind of share those numbers just so we can see how things kind of end off. Um, other than that, man, uh, as we always tell you, please stay safe, practice gratitude, and know we're rooting for you. Screaming, all us blacks got a sports and entertainment until we even. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. 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 Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Spat bouts and racks on handmade new rags. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. That's everybody from sports to conscious class to rap.